Hey guys, <clears throat> it's me, Shorty Sensei. Um, I'm pretty sick right now. I probably got like the flu or something from one of my students. I really don't know what's wrong with me. New Pokemon was released today. Um, yesterday, there was some weird stuff happening in Pokemon Go and there was a Pokemon no one knew. There was a website that Pokemon posted called Chest dot pokemon and it had the chest and as time passed like coins would get added to it and it would count up the number of coins and it stopped at 999 and now we've got our video revealing the pokemon so let's see who we have hey jacques thanks for sending me that video Okay, first of all, we've got a Pokemon Go professor talking to one of our current, like, now professors. This is very interesting. I think this might just be the Pokemon I've been hearing so much about. Trainers from all over have reported sightings. Uh, I've got to say, Professor, I'm surprised Gimme Ghoul's showing up in your neck of the woods. I like the voice acting. Very nice. Gimme Ghoul. So that's what this Pokemon's called. Could the treasure chest it hides in actually be part of its body? Wait, did they say Gimme Ghoul? Cute. A ghoul who likes coins, so steel ghost, maybe? Maybe? Could the treasure chest it hides in actually be it's so of its weird body. looking. It also carries the same type of coin trainers have been finding. That's right. The coin looks like his now, face. Some Gimme Ghoul that hide in treasure chests, and some that don't. Hmm. The ones hiding in chests are new to me. Hmm. The fascinating part is. As far as I know, no one's ever caught a gimme ghoul that's not in a chest. The second you get near, they hightail it out of there, dropping a coin as they flee. I don't think we've seen them act like that over here. You know. So in Pokemon Go world, they don't run from trainers, and in our world, they run away. But what about the ones in chests? There's actually an interesting story about gimme ghoul and its coins. <laughs> Here's okay. an old, strange tale involving a mysterious coin. Oh, my lighting just got so dark. Once upon a time, a young girl was out on a walk when she picked up a coin. Clink. Okay, clink. There's another, said the girl. Clink. Wait, what's that? When the mysterious being noticed the girl, it fled through a nearby door. The girl hurried okay. and chased after it and came upon a treasure chest. Okay, dark Pokemon the lore. It's creepy. Lurked nearby, staring intently at the girl. The treasure chest opened quietly, and whatever was inside met the girl's gaze. The girl put a coin into the treasure chest. Ding. Um, she picked up another coin and put it into the chest. She's going to put a thousand coins in the chest or 999. She picked up a coin and put it into the chest. It'll bother bother me if it's 999 just like in the the little website teaser. Eventually, the chest came to be full of coins. 997, 998, 999. <laughs> Cool art style, very cool. <clears throat> Throat feels better already. What am I doing with all these coins? The girl wondered. Now who or what? Ooh. So, intent on so she didn't realize that she was doing it. So like Gimme Ghoul kind of like enchants people to get the coins for them, right? Is that what this is? <laughs> an intriguing tale. It might help us learn more about this Pokemon. I hope so. It seems to suggest that Gimme Ghoul hiding in treasure chests don't move on their own. Mm -hmm. They just manipulate people into gathering coins for them. On the other hand, Gimme Ghoul without treasure chests don't seem to manipulate people. So like, if we go near one that's in a chest, we have, we have to give it coins? Or like, can we give it enough coins to where it comes out? 
But then if it comes out, is it still going to run away? Or if we give it enough coins, it'll let us catch it maybe. But if it's 999 coins, that's a lot for a chance to catch a Pokemon. I would want it to be like for sure we get to have it if we go through all that work. Perhaps they're able to go searching on their own. Mm. It's very odd for Pokemon of the same species to behave so differently, don't you think? Since they're behaving so differently, maybe we ought to consider them separate forms. Okay. What do you think? Should we name them? Are there any other Pokemon like that where they're the same Pokemon but have separate forms? And you can't really count Ditto. Um, I mean, I guess Zygarde. You know, kind of. I don't know. Good idea. Let's see. Chest form seems fair for the one that hides in chests. <laughs> That's very straightforward. I thought they were going to give it like an actual name. Like, oh, this is Gimme Chest or Gimme Coin or Gimme... I don't know, you know? I, the fact that they're just calling it Gimme Ghoul Chest Form and whatever. That's the one that walks around. How about Roman? Okay. <laughs> so you've never heard of anyone catching a roaming form gimme ghoul in Paldea, right? Yep. But out where you are, they don't run away? You said they just tag along near people who've picked up coins. Mm. Right. If trainers out here use that behavior to their advantage, they might be able to catch it. What an exciting research opportunity. Does that mean if we collect coins in Paldea that they might come near if we just happen to have enough coins. Anything else you can tell me about Gimme Ghoul? I'd be happy to tell you everything I know, and I'll do what I can to help you catch roaming form Gimme Ghoul. Thank you. And I'm sure trainers will also appreciate your help. Now, about those coins. Uh, whoops. There's the bell. Oh, the bell was pretty. Sorry, professor. Gotta run. Before you go, uh, oh well, that's Jacques for you. Always dancing to the beat of his own drum. <laughs> I ought to send him a thank you gift for his help with Gimme Ghoul. Gimme wow. I think it's so interesting that two different professors from two different, like, worlds, basically, are talking. And the research on Pokemon continues. Okay. It's crazy that they're doing this now. I thought this would be, like, later. Okay, so it showed you just just now. Look at that. Look at that. Wait, wait, wait. It showed you the trainer with a gimme ghoul in a chest in the chest form. Here, okay, here's what I'm thinking. If it's linking with Pokemon Go, maybe the only way to get roaming form gimme ghoul is in Pokemon Go. The only way to get chest form is in Scarlet Violet. Or do you need to like get the point coins in Pokemon Go and transfer them to Scarlet Violet so you can get Gimme Ghoul. Is that the only way to get our coins? Pretty sure they have info here on the website. Investigations into a newly discovered Pokemon are underway. Mysterious coins have begun to appear and along with them the Gimme Pokemon Gimme Ghoul. It appears that Professor Willow and Mr. Jacques are investigating this Pokemon and the many mysteries that still surround it. I love Jacques. He looks really cool. Gimme Ghoul, he's only ghost type. Coin chest Pokemon, height one foot, it's very tiny. Weight 11 pounds, ability rattled. Gimme Ghoul roaming form. Okay, so that's the one we know nothing about. So chest form, we know things about it. Roaming form, we know nothing. Will it be the same type or will it have different typing? Will they have different moves, different abilities? P possibly, I feel like if you have the one in the chest and he's already got all of his coins he's gonna have some like moves that have to do with money right payday anything that can get you money but maybe the roaming form has a different move set because he needs the money wants the money now look the coin is on his back in this picture and this one he's like holding it and it's not on his back so maybe he can attack with just the one coin i don't know is this the same video we just watched it's not Lycanroc! And then there's the chest. Just sitting there inconspicuously. Oof, those graphics are pretty terrible. I don't know if it's just my computer. It's pretty rough. I hope the game footage is not final. Alright. Defining a Sableye. He's cute in his little chest. Oh, he's just playing in his money. 
Oh, he's just chilling on a sign, the roaming form. He is tiny. That is itty bitty. Okay, so we know all we know. And let's see if they put him under the Pokemon list. I say him, he just looks like a little him. Oh wait, there he is. I just literally passed him. Gimme Ghoul. The Gimme Ghoul hide inside sturdy treasure chests. While this provides them with a solid defense, the treasure chest's weight causes Gimme Ghoul to move slowly, making travel difficult. It's not uncommon for chest form Gimme Ghoul to be mistaken for an antique and taken home or sold to an antique store. That's sad. Gimme Ghoul controls people and Pokemon, making them collect coins. When Gimme Ghoul senses a person or Pokemon draw near, it ambushes them. It then uses ghost energy to control its target, forcing them to collect coins. Because it often hides in warehouses, shop corners, and other places people and Pokemon don't frequent, it tends to keep persistent control of those it does manage to encounter. Roaming form. It seems that Gimme Ghoul has a second form called Roaming Form Gimme Ghoul. This kind of Gimme Ghoul doesn't hide in a treasure chest. It's small, carries a single coin on its back, and can be found hiding hiding all over Paldea. However, since they run away as soon as a person approaches, it seems not a single trainer in Paldea has ever ma managed to catch one. Surprisingly, Roaming Form Gimme Ghoul have been spotted in the world of Pokemon Go as well. It appears that Mr. Jacques, an expert on the biology of Pokemon in the Paldea region, and Professor Willow, who's been carrying out research alongside trainers in the world of Pokemon Go, have joined forces to devise a way to catch them. Please wait for future announcements to hear all about their results. Editing Shorty here to point out that both professors are aware that there are multiple worlds. They keep referencing the world of Paldea, the world of Pokemon Go. So this further pushes a narrative that they're aware there are multiple worlds existing at the same time. Just saying, this is crazy news. The result is going to be that you have to have Pokemon Go to catch this thing. And that kind of upsets me. I wonder if like I can just make an account and whenever this gets announced that I'll be able to catch it. Like how far do you need to be into Pokemon Go to be able to access Gimme Ghoul? That is the question. I don't even know what my phone is. Let me go make a Pokemon Go account now. All right, so we now have Gimme Ghoul. I will see you guys again soon. I've got to go take care of myself. I think I'm probably not going to go to work tomorrow. Oh God, sneeze. I should go. It's coming. <laughs> Oh, I need a tissue. Oh, God. Bye. Bye.